Good morning, everyone. This is Prem's crypto market update for December 19th, 2018. Welcome, everyone. Um, if we look at Bitcoin, Bitcoin is hovering at $3,700, 5% more than yesterday. And if we look at the coin market cap, we can see we are at 121 billion, meaning something like 10 billion has come into the market and volumes are higher as usual as well, looking at 18 billion dollars at 53 percent dominance right now so we can see definitely in the top 10 everything on the green we can see bitcoin cash up 25 percent doing 113 dollars and uh, ethereum at the hundred dollar level finally um, <coughs> no longer in the two digits um, and up nine percent now let's have a look at the gainers for today so mona coin is up 49 percent waves is up 37 percent and stratus is up 33 percent and the list goes on like this so uh, let's have a look at the coins that didn't do that well there are not that many but dex is down 15 percent factum is down nine percent wax is down four percent so now let's have a look at what's going on on the charts so uh, yeah, I mean, we can see that basically we are seeing green candles and the RSI is back in the bandwidth. It's now at around 45%. So uh, yeah, the relative strength index is back in the game. Um, I think that's, uh, that's been something we've been waiting for some time. Um, and let's, as you know, if we look at these candles, uh, they're definitely going up right now. And if we look, uh, right now, Bitcoin is doing 37.27 on Bitstamp. Now, let's continue to the news. So, the news comes from Blockstream. They've launched a satellite system which basically verifies and broadcasts from space to every major landmass on Earth, uh, except on Greenland and Antarctica. Uh, but looking at this, basically, the satellite um, system by Blockstream. Uh, it's giving, um, you know, it's broadcasting the entire Bitcoin blockchain, basically. Uh, and um, it's it's uh, really resilient in that way. So it is really good news. Um, this, this project has been <laughs> working for a long time on it. So let's continue on the next news. The next news comes from Stablecoin. As you go, guys, no tether has been having in the last couple of months a lot of negativity that they do not have the money in the bank. Now, if we look at today's uh, Tether, for example, I think it was 101. Let me check for, okay, it's 102. Um, we can see basically that Tether uh, um, is not at par at one. More importantly, uh, if we look at um, uh, what's going on, uh, I mean, some this uh, Bloomberg basically said that They've got 2.2 billion in the bank on the 31st of January. And then later on, another investigation was going on by a uh, law firm, um, Free Sporken and Sullivan. Uh, they basically said that um, it's confirmed, basically, that they uh, have the money based on June 1st. Um, it's fully backed, basically. So it's giving some kind of um backing that you know tether is not alone in this but more importantly uh, they are trying to get some evidence as uh, tether and bitfinex are uh, you know a little bit uh, uh, not totally transparent what is going on behind the scenes all right then the last news comes from ripple so uh, ripple has broken through the resistance line and shows uh, maybe something to overtake Bitcoin in the long haul. So now if we look at XRP, we can see it's doing 36 cents, while yesterday it was still uh, below the 30s uh, as such. Um, it's, it's, it's doing well, actually. I mean, and there's a lot of positive news, basically, on XRP coming out, which makes this um, definitely a coin uh, to be resilient about. All right, this was the news for today. I hope you like it. Please like and subscribe. Go to our website, bitcoinmagazine.nl, and I hope to see you on the next one.